Hey guys, uh, just a quick video about uh, the Pixel Slate. So you know I've been using the, uh, the iPad Pro for a while now and um, really like it. Uh, but uh, lately I've been doing a lot more of IT kind of work. I still do editing and stuff uh, and calling for weddings and everything else that I shoot. But I've been using um, the iPad for a lot more office stuff and I just, I've been hating it. Um, mainly because of you know the lack of mouse and also all the all the things that that limit you with ios so i ended up getting um an i5 pixel slate just to see how it was this thing get, gets the most horrible reviews but um it's actually a really nice machine as you can see i have the have the cover with the uh with a trackpad which is awesome so unlike the ipad that uh you know you have to use that funky mouse thing i just wanted to show you the difference in in display and and speed the ipad is faster when it comes to gpu stuff but not not that much faster i mean it it's a little bit quicker but i mean it's 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 getting so close now that that i think that uh they're about almost the same these files, by the way, are uh, are saved down on on the actual machines. They're not coming from the web, so they're you know they're saved locally. So they, they're loading a little quicker. But you can see the difference is not that bad on the uh, on the i5. It's actually uh, pretty good. So I'm probably going to start using. Uh, well, I'm going to sell the uh, the iPad pretty shortly because of this. But I just wanted to show you other cool things about the. Uh, the slate. The, the coolest thing is that, uh, uh, of course, you could use Android apps. So uh, you're not limited only to to the stuff that um, you know that work, that runs on Chrome OS. So with uh, with Android, you, you pretty much have the whole store. I mean, I, I downloaded a bunch of stuff for it to work. You know that, that I need for work, and uh, it works great. I even downloaded uh, the uh, the beta for. Uh, the RDP beta from Microsoft, and it actually runs full screen, which it wasn't running. Um, it wasn't running full screen before, which uh, really, really pissed me off when I had I had a Pixelbook before, and um, this would not run full screen. It was really getting me a little bit angry. But this thing runs perfect now, as you could see it. Uh, and of course, it has a trackpad, so you could pretty much do anything. You don't have to uh, have that uh, jump app like we do on the. Um, on the iPad, but it's a great machine. It's a little bit heavier than the iPad, um, and the cover is is heavier as well because you know it's a little bit bigger. It has the trackpad, and the keys do light up, which is kind of cool. Another cool thing about um, having Chrome OS is that when you you know when you kick in Chrome, it's it's full fledged Chrome. I mean, you have as you can see, I have um, all the ad blockers and all the cool things that I, all the add-ins that I used uh, on my desktop, they all come in. If you try to do that on, on an iPad, of course, you know you, you won't get that because, because it's limited. I mean, I, Apple limits that, so you won't be able to, you know, you won't be able to have any of the add-ins. It's a very limited version of Chrome. Another cool thing that I found is that uh, the iPad, the hardware is amazing, but the software part of it, is really poor. I mean, there's apps that don't run. In, uh, in full screen, so you're limited. And not only don't they run on full screen, they, they kind of even rotate the display, like this one, for example. Uh, I guess you could zoom it in to make it larger, but it's, it's really terrible. They should really be able to run these, these apps that are not, uh, that are not made for, for tablets. They should just be able to pop up in their, on their own little screen so you could run them. Instead, you have, <laughs> they rotate and, and they become uh, they become portrait mode. It's really, really terrible. On the uh, on the Chrome OS, uh, most of the apps that I found on on the uh, Android store they work perfect. Uh, I'm sure there's there's some that don't, but uh, the ones that I played with so far they work great. Another cool thing that I found um, you could run Linux apps on on the Chromebook. So you know you could run you could uh, download a package. Uh, the package uh, software, so you could uh, download actual packages. I mean, you could do it from terminal too, but people that are not used to running terminal commands, you could just basically install a uh, like a package manager, and you'll be able to to basically run 
a bunch of Linux stuff. I was very surprised to find this. Uh, you can't do that on, of course, on the iPad. So basically, I'm going to be switching over to, to Chrome OS. Um, I might be getting, this is the i5, which is great, by the way. It runs awesome. But I might be getting the i7 uh, just for future proving, I guess, if I if I keep it for a long time. Uh, this is 128 gigabytes of storage. I think the i7 is double that, and it also has double the RAM. So I might be getting the uh, the upper model, but uh, I'm very surprised. It, it runs really, really well. Um, I, I saw a bunch of reviews and they were very terrible. Like they were saying how laggy, you know, how, how slow and how much this thing lags. Uh, that's not my experience. It, it runs really good. I'm very surprised. Like, I'm really, really surprised because I had um, the Chromebook before, like I said, and it, and it wasn't as good as this. It, it definitely was a lag. Maybe there was some updates or something. So anyway, just a quick update um, on the iPad Pro versus the Slate. Uh, I think the iPad, it's an ama uh, the hardware, it's amazing. It's really great, but it's been, it's been basically let down by the operating system, iOS. It's so limiting. Another cool thing actually, you know, on we tried before getting a, a monitor to work on this and only a few applications actually run with a, uh, with you with the USB-C connection, but on the on the Chromebook on the Slate, if you plug in a if you plug in a display, it has actually two USB-C ports, which is awesome too. So you could have uh, a bunch of stuff. You could have like an external drive, uh, a hub, and it'll work. You'll be able to work with files, which is really really welcome. But another cool thing is that you could run an external monitor, and it will just it will just run. It's it's really amazing. Any app that you use, so I think uh, if I switch this up, if I go to uh, the input and I just put, I think, I don't know the name of the input, I think it's this one here. Hope it's that one. So yeah, that's the that's it actually. If you could see, uh, I have the mouse and I'm able to run on this external widescreen. No problem, it just runs, it's very fast. I even tried uh, Lightroom and it works really, really good too. And again, it has two ports. So you could uh, hook up, uh, on this side you could hook up a little hub and, or charge at the same time. It's a really capable machine, very surprised here. So I'll be saying bye to the little iPad, which it's, I mean, it's a great machine. It's just, again, being let down by, by this operating system. But uh, that's it, just a quick little video. This is a little longer than I wanted to, but you get the point. Anyway, peace out, guys. Bye.